Oh, goodness me. That was not a comfortable train journey. Oh, going to need a good night's sleep tonight. Um... Where am I? Yep, we are here in Elk Mountain. Welcome back fellow farmers to another series on Farming Simulator 22. Uh, I was going to say welcome back to the series, but it's not. This is a brand new one. We have made a deal with Leroy over in Pregola. Basically, he told us he had some land over here. Uh, I was falling out with uh, what we could potentially do over in Pregola. It didn't seem like we could really expand the way I wanted to. There didn't seem to be that much going on in the town, so we decided... Now it's time to move. So we had a chat with Leroy and he said he would do essentially a swap for us all of our land and equipment in Peregula for the land that he's got over here. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have any equipment, but he does have a nice log cabin here that we can live in for now whilst we get going. And we did have a little bit of cash left over from the transfer between Leroy and ourselves. We only have about 200 quid, which hopefully will be enough to buy us a car to get started with and get driving around. But this is our first day here. We just got off the train. Our back is killing me because that was not a, that was a freight train. That was not a passenger train, but it was the only way to get here. So we're here now. Uh, we're going to go find the town and see what's going on. Yep, this looks like the town. This is Clearwater. Uh, they have a fire station, which is very, very good. And looks like there's a bar across the street. So let's just check there's nothing coming. I'd hate to get run over on my first day. Uh, yep, yeah, this looks like a bar, definitely. Okay, let's see if we can find any bit of chat to... Ah. Let's see if we can have a chat with her. Excuse me. So you're not going to believe this. Uh, that's actually Leroy's sister. <laughs> of all the people to bump into first, she was probably the best person. So explained who we were. Leroy had let her know that we were coming anyway, so she was keeping an eye out for us. But uh, yeah, she told me where the land is, but said, probably look around town, see what's here. Uh, and she's told me where they use car garage as well. So we'll go and have a chat with them and see what they can do. But let's, let's have a look around town. This is the used car garage. Let's see if we can find anybody. Don't seem to be anybody here. Oh, what's this? Employee of the month. Well, let's hope we get him, eh? So I've spoken to Bert, the owner, and he's got some cars for us to look at. First off is a Lizard F100. This might be a little out of our price range. Next up, a Dodge Ram. This is definitely out of our price range, but it's a very, very nice looking car. Ford F250, the old 1970s version. Toyota Land Cruiser. 
yeah, those two cars definitely out of our price range. We've only got a couple hundred quid. Let's go talk to Bert, employer of the month, see what he can do for 200 quid. Probably not a lot. Okay, spoken to Bert, he's got something for 200 quid for us, although it's not out in the front, it's in the garage. It's a Lada 1600. It looks like it's definitely seen better days. It's probably why he's selling it for a couple hundred quid. Yeah, uh, definitely seen better days. But, I mean, it's a nice colour at least, I think. <laughs> Matching rims. Um, does it have a tail hitch? Yep, so we could get a trailer on. And looks like we can strap things to the roof. So at least it's functional. We could, if we needed to, put something up there and fasten it on. Okay, let's go have a chat with Bert. See, uh, see what we can do. Well, the conversation with Bert went well. Uh, he's taken two hundred quid. We now have zero money, but we have a car. So let's just get in, get this bad boy going. Seems so nice enough on the inside. It drives okay. Yeah, I think this will do. We can get a trailer on the back. Uh, we could put some stuff on the roof. Once we've got some money, obviously, we can get a trailer for the back. But seems nice enough. Nice, interesting colour in the back. So I found a map. And let's have a look. This is the full town. So we're currently over here. And apparently, our land is... Where is it? Oh, it must be this bit up here. Where the house is. So it looks like we need to come down these roads here. Basically, get down to this bit here and turn left, 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 and left. Okay, let's just check if there's anything coming. Oh, there there was. Okay, let's pull out. Let's get going. Okay, this seems to drive pretty well. Brakes seem to work. So if I remember correctly, we go down here, and this will get us out towards our house. Well, we found it, and he wasn't lying. This is a gorgeous place. It's a really, really nice log cabin. I mean, just look at that. Every angle is going to look like a photo opportunity here. Well, let's see what we've got going on the outside. Oh, we have a boat uh, and a wheelbarrow. Don't think either of those are going to do us any good. Water fountain. That'll be good for some water for if we have animals or anything like that. Oh. Is that a chainsaw working? That'll be interesting to find out later. Uh, okay, this is we've got a little fire pit. That'll be quite good to sit out at night. Nice bit of decking, a lawnmower. Well, look at this. This is a bit better than our last home in uh, Peregula. Nice little living room, really comfy looking couch. Nice TV, gorgeous fireplace. 
milk churn, nice kitchen, uh, fabric softener, that's weird, fabric softener but we don't have a washing machine, <laughs> okay, find another use for that something, uh, bathroom, okay, a toilet, nice looking sink, let's check out the bath, um, Okay, we won't be using that. Uh, and this is the bedroom. It's nice to have a bed that doesn't fold out of the couch. <laughs> Interesting bedspread though. Interesting choice. Ah, nice enough bedroom. And we caught up there. Let's just check out what's up this ladder. Ah, oh, cool. Nice bit of storage space. Couple of boxes. There might be some interesting stuff in there. Yeah, very, very, very nice cabin here that we're going to be living in. So I think that's it for this episode, this introduction to surviving Elk Mountain. Uh, this is going to be a fun one, I think. We currently have no money at all to buy any equipment, but we do have a car. So if you like this series or you like the idea of the series, uh, please do give us a like, comment down below, and subscribe to keep on top of what we're going to be doing on this channel. So in the meantime, as it always has been, it's time for a cuppa. <laughs>